On Wednesday, Donald Trump sat down for an interview with CNN's Anderson Cooper. And in this interview, Donald Trump took things even further than what he has before. Uh, this time he said, quote, I think Islam hates us. So he's saying that Islam as a whole hates America. Now this is on top of his calls for Muslims to be banned from entering the country because some Muslims hate us and want to do us harm, Americans. But this time he didn't just talk about some Muslims. This time he is saying the religion as a whole is designed to hate Americans. I mean, when he did uh, the first time he said something like this, uh, you know, uh, in reference to Muslims, mm-hmm. talking about banning them, he did say, well, we got to sort all this out. Yeah. He didn't like say the whole the thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Morning Joe. Um, they had Florida Governor Rick Scott on. Um, and they asked him about Trump's comments. And this is how that played out. Do you think that Muslims hate Americans, that that Islam uh, hates America, as Donald Trump said last night? Well, I can tell you what's going on in Florida. We have, we're at almost 45 years old in our state. No, 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 I don't, so I don't want to know what's going on in So in our state, we're heading the right Florida. direction. I want to know, <laughs> no, 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 I want to know what's going on in your head, Governor. We're friends. I want you to answer the question. Do you personally think that Islam is a religion that hates America? So, Joe, what I can tell you in, in our state is we have a lot of Muslims that live in our state. Wrap it. We've right. got a lot of Latin Americans live in our state. We all get along. Right. Uh, we love people moving to our state and coming here as tourists. We ha- we're a great melting pot. That's what I can tell you about our state. Okay. Donald Trump, you know, he can talk about what the things he wants to talk about. Marco Rubio can, Ted Cruz, John Casey. No, no. Mm-mm. But... That's but not I answering love the debates any questions. I'm going to be there tonight. I, know, I love Rick, the debates going to be Rick, in Miami. Rick, 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 Rick. I know you and Joe are friends, and this is kind of awkward. But can you answer the question, or should we scoot? <laughs> well, I can tell you that, you know, I'm glad everybody's in Florida. You know, we're doing well here. The debate's going to be fun tonight. I hope they talk about jobs. It's the most important issue. Governor Rick Scott, thanks for being on. We will... Uh, Move on now. Thanks. Morning, Joe. We'll be right back. So they had to cut that interview with Governor Rick Scott short because this clown couldn't even answer the simple question of if he agreed with Trump that Islam hates America. Now, why, why, why why couldn't he answer that question? Like, why is it that hard? Why, why couldn't he answer it? Oh, well, first, well, you know, I, I, I agree with you, but we have to understand who we're dealing with here, okay? Okay. That's so true. That's true. I think you're trying to hold Rick Scott to a standard mm-hmm. that he can't get to. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the same Rick Scott that was the CEO of a company mm-hmm. who was proven to have committed $1.7 billion in Medicare fraud. Mm-hmm. It's the same Rick Scott who wanted to implement drug testing policies on welfare recipients to which the facilities that were carrying out the drug test he was invested in Mm -hmm. so he's you know a corrupt politician mm -hmm. so I'm just saying that's who you're dealing with so I'm just saying you just yeah he's not one to I guess uh, um, put himself out there as some sort of uh, moral beacon of any sort that's true. That's um, true. So, and also, you know, as Joe Scarborough said, you know, hey, he's your friend. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Rick Scott may want to be more than Trump's friend, if you see what I'm getting at. He's maybe angling for a administration yeah. position. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to um, cut that himself. off. Yeah. He doesn't want to cut that possibility off. I, I think is like this is this is telling about what the Republican Party is right now in 2016. Because as we remember, years ago, well, not that long ago, but um, governor of Louisiana, uh, Bobby Jindal, mm-hmm. you know, he was talking about, we got to stop being the party of stupid. You know, we got to stop, stop saying stupid things and uh, bring more people into the party. This ain't going to get that done, okay? You can't even answer a simple question 
on if a religion is designed to hate America. Now, Mus- there are Muslims here in mm-hmm. America, and you can't answer the question on if their religion, a religion of how many billions billion of people, people all across the world, you can't answer the question on if the religion hates America. Wow. When you tend to just make blanket statements like that, mm. you tend to encourage, <laughs> you know, um, you kind of encourage this. Uh, you encourage xenophobia. Oh, yeah, exactly. You, you, you encourage fascism. I, I, you I encourage think... Western imperialism. Yeah. And you, I, I, you know, you don't, you, you don't, you leave it to no question. You mm-hmm. leave it to where we don't, nobody, nobody questions our actions over there because everything is just, they're just all the same over right. there. It's Islam. Islam is Islam. So, well, I mean, whatever we do over there, it's, it's mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you can justify it because, you know, they're all like this. I can't I can't think of a, a better analogy than what you know Senator um, Harry Reid uh, kind of put out there, and he said he you know he equated Trump to being you know the Frankenstein monster created by the Republican Party, and that's exactly right. Now I have my problems with Harry Reid as well because he's just as corrupt as anybody else, but the you know the analogy is very valid. The Republicans can't even repudiate what Trump says in public that tells you what this Republican party is now behind the scenes, they're scrambling and they're frantic because they want to stop Trump because they, they, they see the future. You know, if Trump is the nominee and what does that say about the Republican party? That he is their nominee, that his, that his bigoted speech could represent the whole Republican party. How the Republican Party can fight Trump is exactly the opposite of how they actually are doing it. They can be in the media. They can be loud and in public saying, I don't support these comments. No, it's not okay to label a religion as hateful and against America. They could do that. They could. What happened to the the, the, the use of their favorite term? I think that term is called divisive. Yeah. What happened to that? What happened to that term? Uh, that's only when describing Democrats, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not when describing other Republicans. 